Here is a great example of doing something extraordinary with something absolutely ordinary. I mean, you'll find these all over the world in kitchen drawers. It is a garbage, they're garbage bag twist ties. You know, those little pieces of wire you do around the kitchen, kitchen bags. I've got two of them here and they're still in their pristine, sorry, I almost vomited up a, a sea lion. They're still in their pristine factory condition uh, connected together here. Chris, uh, actually, what time is it now? Uh, it's 11, 11. Okay, I'm gonna, I got a napkin here. I'm gonna write the exact time right now, 11, 11, like that. Not so much a time as a, as a, I think it's a cat on crystal meth, just clawing at the world, saying enough's enough, I must get through this veil. Uh, so I'm gonna take this, put this down the, on the table here, actually, make those dots a little bit bigger like that. Um, and we've got this, we've got ours. Chris, I'm gonna hand you these very slowly. Take them both. You are gonna change them forever. They're kind of like, I almost think of them as like lovers from the factory. They've been connected or connected at birth, Siamese twins, I guess. In front of the camera, I want you to separate the two of them, okay? Separate the two of them, changing everything forever. Here we go. Perfect, now cross one over the other. The power of Christ compels. And I want you to twist them. Twist one over the other, then one over the other, and then fold them up into like a little bundle. So you've separated them and you've twisted them together. Okay. You can just fold them right up there. That'll be just fine. Thanks, man. There you go. Great. Okay. So, I'm going to try. I know this is what's called micro magic. Very small. Okay. Very tiny here. Uh, now, watch. We're going to. Oh, sorry. I've got to get the, the cap there. Nothing like the magician who left the cap of his marker out. I'm going to do this very slowly here. Like this. Put the cap back on. Sorry about that. Okay. Now look, 11.11 was the time before you did all these things to the pieces of metal. 11.11, 11.11. Going to try to send them literally back to that moment. 11.11, three, two, one, back. Let's see. I'm hoping, and I want to, again, I've tried to, and this, I know it's been using these, these twist ties are small. I've tried to be as fair as I can, show my hands really, really fairly. Nothing, of course, in the napkin that can be examined. Market can be examined. Hopefully, we've gone back, back to not only back before when you took these two and twisted them together, but even back before they were even separated. Back to that moment when they were still in factory condition. This trick relies on a principle, a technique, a switching technique that I first learned uh, from Juan Tamarez, I'll call crossing the gaze, uh, is the translation. Um, he's a Spanish magician. Uh, but I have seen the same thinking behind work in other places, um, uh, in, in different kinds of magicians and different kinds of innovators, and it's just a marvelous, marvelous idea. It's a great way to imperceptibly switch something, okay? now. I'm gonna do it with two coins, okay? If I have my coin that I wanna switch in, say, in my left pants pocket, okay? So I can start with a coin, all right? And if I have a reason to go to my pocket, now notice in real life, when you're gonna go for your pocket to get something, could be anything, could be a cigarette lighter. Let's say I'm gonna go for a cigarette lighter. And I'm here, and I go to this pocket, and I, no, it's not there. It's actually in the other pocket. That is probably about the most natural thing in the world to have to go to both pockets. However, if, this is my switch coin, if what I do is I go for this pocket for the cigarette lighter, oh, I can't find it, but actually I get the coin in my little finger palm, I switch one for the other, and then I go to this pocket and I find the cigarette lighter, that means that I've been able to imperceptibly switch one coin for the other under a natural action. And what's really great about this from a, a handling point of view when you're working and doing magic for people, particularly if you're in the middle of a magic show and you're doing several tricks, is your hand starts with nothing but the coin in your hand, right? Uh, nothing but the coin in your hand, no second coin here. I'm looking for my cigarette lighter. No, it's not there. I'm looking for my cigarette lighter. Here it is here and I end switched in the coin and I don't have the other coin. So it's a marvelous way to switch items and also clean, keep yourself clean, your hands empty and great for pocket management, all right? Having said that, 
I apply that same technique to this, uh, this very intimate and very cool idea, I think. And I love just, you know, as soon as you take something like this out of your pocket, people are fascinated because it's not a card trick, it's not a coin trick. And so what do you do? The prep is this. You have these, the two together here, uh, bend them in half, bend them in quarters, some sort of little messy bundle, because Lord knows people are going to make it a messy bundle for you, okay? And this is in my left pants pocket. I have that down in my left pants pocket. Now, the excuse I came up with this one, with this particular situation, was uh, as if I had left the marker out. So I have someone, I draw attention, I take these two out, and you can have the hand say, you know, look at them, they're still connected. Make sure someone examines that, which is fine. Say what time it is, and let's say they say it's 2.15, and you write down 2.15. Now, if you want to use a cigarette lighter, if you want to use your lucky rabbit's foot, you can use anything as a magic wand, but since I have these elements in play, you know, you do this, you write that down there, maybe you dot the eyes again, this goes down, and I immediately take this, and I just put this in my right pants pocket, okay? And I'm moving along up to here. No one's gonna say, hey, hey, wait a second, mister, mister, you know, dry up, your mark is gonna get all dried out, mister. No one's gonna say that, unless they're really, really weird. So you're here, hand this to someone. Have them split them in half. Have them uh, tie one around the other. They're called twist ties, after all. Twist ties. And then say, fold it into a little bundle, a little messy bundle where all the ends are tucked in. That's all you need is that line. And so you're here like this, okay? Now you take this back here. I take it back. I put it right on my right uh, fingertips, okay? And then, or you could do it, if, you, if you're more comfortable doing a transfer from your fingertips, a false put, you can do it that way too. Let's say we're going to use that. So I have this here and I'm here, and I go, okay, let's try this. We're gonna try to see if we can do something with 215, and then I act like, oh, I just noticed the marker cap. I say, oh, sorry, my marker cap. I go down, I grab the prepared bundle, I come up here, I do the switch, I go over here, I grab the marker cap, put this down on the table, put the cap back on, everything is right in the world, okay? The key is to, you have to create a moment as if you've just, uh, uh, in parentheses, a moment where it's sort of like you're not saying, I'm going to stop the show, sorry for the inconvenience, but there's this sense of you, oh, the cap, bup, 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 okay. Now, where were we? That kind of, and you'll see that this is an imperceptible switch. Having switched it out, I then take it, put it inside here. Now, there's something about doing a trick that's this tiny, that I like the idea of it. I think it makes it more credible. Uh, imagine saying to someone, I'm going to make an elephant vanish versus I'm going to make a penny vanish. Now, they're both impossible. They're pure miracles. But there's something about the penny that seems more believable. So I love doing tricks sometimes with very small items. Just ask my wife. We're here. 12.50. And then I go, three, two, one, back. You could have somebody else if you want. Open it up. They open it up. And of course, really make sure. This is where one of these things where I would take it from them. Because I really want the drama. I don't want this rushed. I want people to see you've gone back, back to the moment, right back to 12.15, or 2.15, I should say. Back to when they weren't, not only were they not even twisted together, but the two were still attached.